cream? No, thank you. I take it black. Like my man. Hey guys, what's going on? Carmen back with another quick play video for the 8-Bit Barbarian. So today we're playing Pilot Wings for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Pilot Wings was a uh, amateur flight simulator game. As you can see there, it came out uh, in the early 90s. You know, this is like one of those games that was like a must-own for everybody who had a Super Nintendo. Here you go. Do you ever dream of flying? The Flight Club offers a variety of aerial sports to thrill and challenge you. Dare to take the first step and learn your license. Did I say learn or earn? You'll never know. Hi, I'm Tony, and I'll be your instructor for Area 1. Our lessons will cover a few basics. Landing an airplane and skydiving for accuracy. I don't know why I gave him that voice. That sounds more like what I sound like after sucking down some helium. So yeah, um, this game is uh, very simple. Uh, you start off here with uh, light plane and skydiving, as he already mentioned. Um, this guy's face is just hilarious. But anyway, uh, here we go. I'm gonna jump right into it. Uh, I was actually not too bad at this game uh, growing up. I played this game uh, an awful lot, even though there wasn't like a whole lot going on. There wasn't really any story or plot. Like I said it's basically an uh, amateur flight simulator uh, that had just uh, a number of aerial sports and all that other stuff. I think there was a rocket belt and all that other other uh, jazz as uh, you progress through the game. And so, I mean, it didn't really offer anything special, but it was still kind of fun for what it was at the time. We didn't really have a whole lot like this on the Super Nintendo. And like I said, this was like kind of like a must-own for the Super Nintendo. Anyone who had an SNES collection growing up, you had to have this game in your collection. I don't recall ever knowing anybody with an SNES growing up that didn't have this game in their collection. I'm like, oh yeah, I got pilot wings. They're like, and? Everybody's got fucking pilot wings. Everybody owns it. It was almost as uh, as common as Super Mario World was at the time. Oh my god, look at that fucking face. I mean, yeah, I know I did a great job, but Homeboy looks like he just got a blowjob. I mean, seriously. I mean, dude, yeah, I did a great job, but it wasn't orgasmic. Okay, now he looks a lot more mellow. You're almost certified. <laughs> oh, I'm certified, alright. I'm certifiable, maybe. Uh, so yeah, this was the, uh, the skydiving one. Um... And I kind of like I kind of like this uh, this perspective here. You know, you're hanging on to the uh, to the rope ladder, and it kind of gradually kind of brings you out. And you can actually, yeah, you can. There we go. You can push the button to actually skip that whole uh, that whole scene. Like if if uh, that whole phase, if you don't want to sit there and wait to be uh, um, elevated up to the proper altitude and wait through all that. You know, for a few seconds, you just hit the. I think it was the A button I hit, and it just skips you right past it. You get right to the point. Where you just uh, let go of the, the rope ladder, and uh, now we're flying, or falling, as the case may be. And the object here is, you guessed it, um, once I get all the rings, I have to try to uh, maneuver myself. Uh, here we go, it's been a while since I've done this one. I have to try to maneuver myself, kind of like playing darts almost, but, you know, uh, with a parachute. And let me see if I can do this here. That's not too bad. I think it was like... I think technically that's 50. I think it was like right on the line between 40 and 50. But, uh... He seems very pleased. So I guess I did well enough. Uh, so yeah, I guess I passed. So... Fantastic. Congratulations! You are now certified. Now, I was already certifiable when I got here, pal. Sweet! I got my license A. Badass, man. I should really take a photo of this and, like, like add this in with uh, my official resume that, that, you know, anytime I apply for a job, just have a photo of that and be like, yeah, I got my uh, my Class A license on Pilot Wings. Just list that, uh, you know, among my list of credentials there, so. And uh, this is Shirley, so she's my next instructor. And I always kind of had a crush on Shirley back in the day. And as you can see, they added one more event here, uh, the Rocket Belt. And that's what I kind of like, that as you progress through the game, they'd add a little bit of something. A little bit of something, yeah. <laughs> they'd add something else uh, to the mix to kind of keep the gameplay uh, varied, as it were. And this one's actually, I think the Rocket Belt was always one of my favorites. So, uh, here we go. Uh, you got, and of course, you know, just like you got to hit the rings and then you got to land. You know, nothing special, nothing overly complicated. 
Though as you do progress through the game, uh, the uh, requirements to pass that particular course to move on um, do get uh, a little more difficult. It gets a little more complicated as you progress through. Uh, but that's to be expected. I mean, there's nothing else they really could have done for a game like this. Um, here we go. Get that last... Uh, can I... Uh, I think I got it. Yep, there we go. Pass the ring. And now I gotta go land. And I believe it's like over here. Kind of like the same, the whole... The whole concept of the skydiving. You know, you just gotta try to land somewhere. Uh and higher points and actually I think I think if you land back on the moving platform which I'm just gonna say fuck it and move on from there I'm just gonna land over here uh, I think you might get more points or you know they get all happy about it and they look like they just had an orgasm or something I can't remember it's been a while yeah so I passed I passed so I'll admit it your skill is improving <laughs> that's what she said no really that is what she said she literally just said that now so I'm being praised for my great work. I'm going to continue. And uh, let's move on to skydiving. I mean, this is a quick play video. I mean, I'm not going to progress through the game all that much anyway. So I'm just going to dick around a little bit. Just so you can uh, get an idea of, you know, what happens when you don't actually uh, pass the level. When you, when you actually, you know, don't succeed in... Uh, you know, when you fail, I should say. When you succeed at failing. I've always liked that. I have succeeded at failing. Numerous times. And I'm about to succeed at failing right now. And as you can see, I'm uh, flip-flopping through the air. And I'm just not gonna... Yeah. Not gonna deploy the parachute. <laughs> I love the music, too. Oh, she looks pissed. What were you trying to do? <laughs> That's a good question. I like how when you hit the ground, it's just kind of got like the outline. Almost like the uh, the Looney Tunes, like whenever the Wile E. Coyote would fall off a cliff or something chasing the Roadrunner. And all you see is just the outline of his body, like made by the impact of his body colliding with the ground. I love how they, uh, they stuck with that. I mean, this game was, you know, a Super Nintendo game. You know, uh, kids of all ages could play it. I mean, it's not... I highly doubt they would have ever considered, hey, let's make this realistic that as soon as you hit the ground from, like, you know, 11,000 feet, your body's gonna be, you know, disassembled all over the all over the pavement. You're gonna have your blood and guts and entrails all over the place. It's like, ah, I don't think they would have ever leaned towards that. Maybe nowadays, though, if we did, like, a... Ah, yep. Broke my wheels. Broke my wheels. So, maybe if they did that game today. Of course, it wasn't even that gory back in, uh, Pilot Wings 64 was another one. I might do that as the next quick play, just to keep up with the Pilot Wings, uh, theme that we're going with here, so. <sighs> keep your nose up in the air, don't rub it on the ground. <laughs> Again, that's what she said. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This has been another quick play. This is Karma with 8-Bit Barbarian. As always, hit like, hit subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below if there's a game that you would like to see me uh, quick play for the next video. Or a game you'd like me see play for end bosses. So, have a happy new year. Thanks for watching. Thank you.